So let me ask you a question. What sort of education programs and conferences and things do you like to get along to? Um, I've been looking at uh, all of the conferences going on in Australia at the moment, and there is so much about blockchain and AI and automation and all the rest of it. I'm not sure that you should be going to all of those. Let me explain why, coming right up. Office, just to give you an idea, uh, Melbourne has trams running all over the place. Okay, so the current trend in supply chain conferences seems to be all around drones and innovation and AI and robotics and automation and warehouses and so on, different systems. All of that is really good. That's great stuff. But, you know, an interesting thing came up in a couple of coffee conversations I've had today. And if you're wondering where I am, uh, this is Melbourne. Uh, what a great view. We're looking out on the Yarra River here. A couple of things came up in conversation and it kind of reinforced what I've been thinking myself over the last couple of years. And that is how many businesses are actually embracing all of these new technologies, in automation and AI and so on. A few. And, and we came to the conclusion over coffee that maybe it's five or ten percent. And what I'm, I'm not saying ignore these things. I think they're extremely important for the future. We need to be abreast of them. We need to understand uh, what sort of uh, technologies and systems and so on that we can be using in our businesses. But I think the danger is that you can actually forget about some of the fundamentals. And I, I had coffee with three people today and they all agreed with that. So what do I mean by that? Well, uh, my background is management consulting in supply chain and education. Uh, so I'm mixing with all kinds of businesses, multinationals, national businesses, you know, generally quite large businesses every day of the week. And I don't find a lot of them actually embracing AI, robotics, you know, heavy degrees of automation. They're, they're looking at this very sensibly and they're saying, OK, what's the payback? Uh, you know, what's the return on investment for these things? And they're, and they're being somewhat cautious. What they are all investing in and what they're all trying to improve is the fundamentals in supply chain. So that's my message to you this week. It's okay, by all means, embrace these technologies. Be aware of them, be ready for them. Be ready to embrace them when your business is ready. But for 80 or 90% of businesses, they're not ready for that yet. So what should they be focusing on? Things like sales and operations planning, the number of businesses that I come across who still don't have that nailed yet. Running outsourcing relationships properly, you know, so that they're cost effective and delivering the right level of service for you. Uh, making sure your distribution network is aligned to the needs of your business and for your customers. Um, you know, managing freight contracts in the right way. There are still so many companies, large companies as well, that are doing that very badly and they're just wasting money. Uh, managing inventory correctly and deploying it correctly. These are the fundamentals and those are the sorts of things that I predominantly share on this channel. So I would just like to put that reminder out there. Don't forget about the fundamentals because most businesses, you know, probably 80%, still have a lot of, you know, ground to make up on those to get those right. Keep your eye on all of this great new technology but get the fundamentals right as well and keep a focus on those. Do you agree? If not, that's cool. Comment below. I'd love to hear your comments and you know how it works on this channel. Um, if you have any feedback, questions, do comment below. If you enjoy the videos, do subscribe. We have videos coming out every week, generally on a Wednesday, and I look forward to sharing some thoughts with you again next week.